time now for our cash tag segment. For that, we want to bring in our next guest, and that is Andy Swan, co-founder of like folio. All right, Andy, you've got fresh data on Oklo. I saw you've got several charts that you're bringing with us and the overall power picture as well. So look, Oklo has done very, very well. I mean, that's like an understatement uh, in its terms of its performance. What does your latest data tell you? Yeah, the whole world is shifting towards uh, what Oklo does. Um, Nuclear is clearly the future. You know, we've got a situation now where the build out of data centers is starting to almost surpass the build out of corporate offices. So instead of, you know, hosting people, companies are now much more interested in hosting computing power. And it really shows. And, and with that computing power comes an insatiable need for energy. And so when you look at the political picture, you know, we're now at a point where I think most Americans and a lot of people in the West understand that, you know, power equals wealth creation. And so the political uh, winds have shifted very much in favor of, of nuclear. This goes across uh, political ideologies. The trend is up and to the right for, for nuclear power uh, acceptance compared, especially compared to uh, other alternate energy sources. So uh, that's a very big deal. And then Oklo, you know, as a as a primary player in this, this is a stock that, uh, you know, we sent out to like folios uh, members four or five months ago. It's it's been a 400 percent gain since then. And the real the real driving force is what this company does is exactly what the world needs. Uh, you know, the micro nuclear reactors on site to drive uh, data centers in a very safe and scalable way. At least that's the promise of the company going forward. And so you know, we really just kind of wanted to bring this to the attention of uh, you, you know your, your audience, especially because uh, the world is shifting in a major way. And it's very rare that you see the entire world moving in one direction and all of the political ideologies be, becoming supportive of that movement while the technology is beginning to roll out and become uh, effective and realistic. And so this is a major uh, play, a major story that we're going to be watching for the next two to three years. And, uh, you know, we're, we're basically at the point where the demand for power is insatiable. That's not changing anytime soon. And so we're looking for the winners in those categories. And a lot of them are starting to pop up. There, there, there's been a stigma around nuclear energy for you're in my entire lifetime, yeah. it seems. But right now, the needs that we have going forward and what Oklo does that differentiates them, it's these SMRs, right? The small modular reactors that, because let's face it, everyone is starting to turn towards the need for nuclear energy, but no one wants that big reactor near their house. Right. Yeah. But everyone can stomach these smaller, safer, le less expensive, easier to build reactors that Oklo's talking about. Andy, is that the sweet spot that you can get into nuclear energy without scaring the children by building some big, massive reactor? Yeah, I, I think it is. I think that, you know, there's definitely still some uh, convincing that has to happen and some proof points that has to happen or, around the safety of these. But you know, when we looked at the um, you know the political acceptance of various um, alternate energy sources, it really struck us that from 2016 to 2024, you know, wind acceptance on the decline, solar acceptance on the decline, and it was especially in the areas where those power su supply sources had been installed during those eight years. You know, all of a sudden now your entire landscape is dominated by windmills that are giant. Uh, now your uh, what you, used to be amber waves of grain are now mirrored solar power surfaces that are just a little harsh on the eye. So I think that there's an aesthetic uh, reason for some of the decline in, uh, in alternate energy uh, adoption and acceptance that maybe uh, nuclear can overcome by being in these uh, micro sites and off where the data centers are where nobody ha really has to look at them.
Andy, there's also one question that, you know, kind of um, you have to kind of take into consideration is that it's a pre-revenue company, right? Yeah. Um, they yeah. don't have any sales. Um, the first commercial reactor is not expected to start operating until 2027, I believe it is, um, or 2028 at the earliest. And so that's one of the challenges. And obviously, I know, you know, your what, what investors are looking at is the future, sure, but who's left holding the bag? I'm not asking you who's left holding the bag, but that's the, that's the thing you have yeah. to, you know, kind of keep into consideration with uh, a company like this. So how do you weigh that? Yeah, you know, I, I, I think it's impossible to weigh that. I think, you know, the, the market has clearly, um, you know, kind of crowned Oklo as a winner. Um, and the technology seems really solid. The team seems really solid. Those sorts of things, that's the only way you can value these things out into the future when you're so far away from revenue. I think the main point here, though, is that these opportunities exist in the market. Uh, you know, is Oklo fairly valued right now? I have no idea. Uh, will it probably be, be very volatile over the next year? Absolutely. Um, but these opportunities exist in the market because of a massive shift in the entire uh, world's thirst and hunger for power, which is only going to grow. It's kind of like the NVIDIA story was two, three years ago, um, where the thirst and, and hunger for uh, compute and semiconductors was insatiable. Now that's shifting to power and, and uh, investors should be looking at alternate ways and some small cap ways uh, that those needs can be filled because uh, all of the tailwinds are behind you and all you have to do is find uh, the right company at the right time and it could be uh, game changing for your portfolio. That's a good point. I mean, listen, they do have some contracts, obviously, with the government as well. I talked yeah. to the CFO a few months ago about, you know, the trajectory for Oakland. And obviously, he's a big believer in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it looks like investors are as well. Thank you, Andy. We'll leave our conversation there for today. That's Andy Swan, co-founder of Like Folio.